Petty cash is commonly kept in an office for incidental expenses, like stamps or small office supply purchases. It's important to keep an accurate record of petty cash expenditures for tax purposes. Petty cash is usually handled as an additional bank account and regularly reconciled before it's replenished. When you have a petty cash account, these are some things to consider. Set a limit on individual cash transactions. For example, anything over $25 needs approval. Only allow a few key employees access to the cash. Always require receipts in order to document any expenditures. Don't keep more cash on hand than you need. It's better to reconcile and replenish the account more frequently. Reconcile the petty cash account on a regular schedule. For example, every Monday and Thursday. Always use the same amount of petty cash. It's much easier to reconcile the account when the receipts and cash on hand always add up to the same amount. In order to keep track of petty cash, the first thing we need to do is create a new bank type account in our chart of accounts. Rather than use the desktop icon to open the chart of accounts, we'll use the keyboard shortcut Control A. And to create the new account, Rather than use the account button and new, instead we'll use the keyboard shortcut control N. We want to create a bank type of account and I'll call this petty cash. Since we now have multiple bank accounts, we want to check our preferences to make sure that our main bank account is set as our default bank account. We go to Edit, select Preferences, and make sure Checking is selected on the left-hand side. And we'll check these off just to ensure that our main bank account is our default bank account. There are a multitude of ways to deposit cash into the Petty Cash Bank account. The QuickBooks Help screen names two, but I can think of seven. Journal entry, bank transfer, write checks using the main bank account, record deposits using the petty cash account, or using either of the two bank registers. You can also withdraw cash when making a bank deposit, which I think is the most efficient method to replenish petty cash. It's not that important which way you decide to enter and replenish petty cash. What's important is that you use that method consistently. One way to fund petty cash is by using write checks. Instead of using the desktop icon, we'll use the keyboard shortcut Control w First, let's make sure our main bank account is selected. It should be since we just set our default bank account preference. I'll put in PC for the check number for petty cash. If we were actually using a real check, we would put in the check number. This is payable to petty cash. And we'll make it for $100. I'll skip down to the memo and put in petty cash transfer. For the offsetting account, rather than use an expense account, we'll enter the petty cash account. I'll enter the memo again, petty cash transfer. We know that writing a check will decrease the bank account selected. By using petty cash as the other account, we're crediting the main bank account and debiting our other bank account, petty cash. Since we're creating a transfer between two bank type accounts, another common way to fund petty cash in QuickBooks is with a bank transfer. We'll go up to the banking menu and select transfer funds. Our from account is our main bank account and our to account is petty cash. For the transfer amount, I'll put in an additional $100 and we'll change the memo to read petty cash transfer and let's assume we use the ATM this time. Now to check our work, we'll pull up the balance sheet again. Reports, Company and Financial, Balance Sheet Standard. Net cash remains the same, but $200 is now allocated to petty cash. If we drill down on the petty cash account, we can see our two transfers, one with the check and one with the bank transfer feature. 
I can double click on the check transaction to open the check and from here we can use control Y to see the debits and credits. We can see that the main bank account was credited and petty cash was debited. Now let's go back to our petty cash report and this time we'll drill down on the transfer. Control Y for the transfer shows that behind the scenes QuickBooks handled this transaction exactly the same way as the check transaction crediting the main bank account $100 and debiting petty cash $100. To recap, there are multiple ways to transfer funds to Petty Cash. We just demonstrated the two most common ones. Using write checks from the main bank account and using Petty Cash instead of an expense account. And using the transfer function in the banking menu. If you're actually physically writing a check, make sure you use the write checks function so that the check number is recorded in QuickBooks. Ideally, when petty cash is used, the transaction is entered right away in QuickBooks. But that's not realistic. Usually, the receipts and multiple transactions are entered at once before reconciling the account. There are two general methods used to enter petty cash transactions. The first method uses the write checks window. Instead of using the icon on the desktop, we'll use the keyboard shortcut Control W. We want to make sure that we're using the Petty Cash account from the drop down menu at the top of the window. And we'll replace the check number with PC for Petty Cash. We'll make this payable to cash, which we don't have on a list yet. So when we hit Tab, we can quick add and add it as an other name. And I'll put in a memo for the Petty Cash expense. And now let's add some expenses. Let's just say postage for $9, United States Postal Service. Office supplies for $25.45 from an office store. And meals and entertainment for $15.75 for lunch and we'll hit save and close to record them. The second way to record the expenses is directly in the bank register. To open the banking register we can go up to banking and select use register or we can use the keyboard shortcut control R. We want to make sure petty cash is selected as the account and OK to open the register. For the transaction number we'll put PC in again for petty cash and we'll make this payable to cash again. And to enter multiple expense accounts we'll use the splits button. Here we can enter multiple accounts. We'll start again with postage for nine dollars. Office supplies for twenty-five forty-five. And meals and entertainment for fifteen seventy-five and for expediency we won't enter the memos again. And we can see both transactions in the register each for fifty dollars and twenty cents since we entered these expenses twice. If we click on the transaction we did directly in the register the one without a memo and then click control Y we can see the debits and credits behind the scenes. When we do the same for the second transaction we can see behind the scenes it's exactly the same. Since we don't need both transactions in the register, I'll highlight one, choose Edit, and delete the check. To recap, you can enter penny cash transactions individually, but may find it somewhat time consuming. You can regularly enter petty cash transactions in batches using the petty cash receipts you have on hand. You can enter the transactions using either the write checks window or directly into the bank register. To reconcile the petty cash account, we use the QuickBooks reconcile function just like we would with a regular bank account. Except instead of reconciling the account with a bank statement, we reconcile the QuickBooks balance to the receipts and cash total in the petty cash box. 
To open the Reconcile window, we can click on it on the home screen, or we can go up to Banking and select Reconcile. First, we'll make sure we have the Petty Cash account selected. And for the date, we'll just use today's date. I'll enter our balance. In the box we have $149.80. And in our next window, we should have receipts in our cash box for each one of these transactions. So we'll check each one of them off individually. We have our two deposits. The first one here is the transfer. The second one is the check. And we batch three transactions together into one check for $50.20, the receipts for which we have on file. At the bottom right of the window, we can see that our difference is zero, so we can click Reconcile Now. And we're given the option to print a report. In this case, I don't really want one, so I'll cancel this, and we're done. To recap, reconcile petty cash on a regular schedule. Keep petty cash deposit slips and receipts on hand for reconciliations and use the QuickBooks Reconcile function, matching the receipts and cash total to the QuickBooks record. My preferred way to replenish petty cash is to include it in a deposit. This is the most convenient since you're already at the bank and you can withhold the exact amount needed to replenish petty cash back to its original or desired balance. To open the Record Deposits window, we can use the icon on the home screen or Banking menu, Make Deposits. We have one payment from undeposited funds to deposit for $600, and we want to make sure that it's going to our main bank account. Let's enter a payment method here. Here at the bottom of the window, we can select a Cash Back account, and we'll select Petty Cash. We want to enter a memo. In this case, we'll say Replenish Petty Cash and we need $50.20 to get our petty cash balance back to $200. To take a look behind the scenes at the deposit, I'll open the deposit window again. We'll click Previous and then Control y to take a look at the debits and credits. We increased our main bank balance $549.80 with a debit, increased petty cash $50.20 with a debit, and decreased undeposited funds with a $600 credit. I'll bring up the balance sheet again and update it. And we can see that our petty cash account is back up to $200. A simple way to maintain a consistent petty cash balance is to take out the exact amount needed when you're making a bank deposit. Consistently having the same amount in petty cash makes reconciling the account much easier. Remember to keep on top of your petty cash reconciliations. Require receipts for all transactions and consistently use the same amount when replenishing the account.